Hey everyone, breaking news, Dean Evason fired by the Minnesota Wild, Bob Woods, assistant coach, also out, and new head coach coming in, John Hines, so Billy Guerin making the big move, I just wanted to make a quick video with my thoughts, uh, after five seasons, man, Dean Evason, I, I thought he was going to get a longer leash here, I, I really did, so seeing it, I'm not overly shocked just because of the record, like the Wild have struggled, the goaltending has not been good, and the Wild had expectations to be in the top three in the Central, but at the same time, for reasons like, and Elliot Freeman's talked about it, the Wild, those Parise and Suter buyouts, like that's one. Two, just being like, well, Ryan Hartman just got suspended. Like they've battled injuries, they've battled different things. I thought there might be a longer leash here, but no. I mean, there's just been too many things where the Wild uh, can't ignore and Billy Guerin can't ignore. And you know what? I'll say this, I, and it was an interesting kind of point from Friedman, is that Billy Guerin is very impulsive. He's very impulsive in many different ways. I think this was his way of being a little impulsive without making like a big trade or, or or doing something to the roster itself. This was kind of his way of, okay, I got an itch to scratch here. I've got to make a move. My team is not doing well. We should be a playoff team. There's got to be a change. Dean Evanston's had five years and obviously the Wild have had different looks. I think, honestly, in my opinion, I think there's been seasons that Dean Evanston coached with the Wild where I did not think they should be anywhere close um, to the success they had. So yeah, you know what? Did they go to a conference final? No. Did they make a lot of noise in the playoffs? Not necessarily. I mean, they did well in certain rounds, but I think the key thing is here that um, they just haven't looked competitive enough and they haven't looked like a playoff team. So I think what Billy Guerin has built here and, and re-signing guys like Felino and Eric Sinek and guys with size and guys the way that Billy Guerin wants them to play I think it just comes down to maybe a new look will change things. John Hines, people will criticize it, but you know what? He has now multiple scenarios of experience here with the Devils as they were growing, with the Predators as they were growing. I think John Hines has some positive attributes. He's seen different levels, and I think now he's a guy that maybe seasoned enough can come in as a fresh eyes to the wild, but also with the experience in the Central Division. I think this is also key. The fact that he coached with the Preds for a few years, has that experience, and now can kind of be uh, back in the Central Division where he's used to. So we'll see what happens. I, I don't think it's a it's a bad move. I think it's a, it's fine. But yeah, people are going to criticize John Hines because, I mean, his NHL record is not stellar, to say the least. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Dean Evison out, John Hines in. Uh, I will be interested to see if this move doesn't change things in terms of their success in the season. I wonder if the Wild make like a big move uh, or a couple moves, at least to like create some more flexibility in the cap for themselves until those Parise and Suter contracts become obviously, I mean, just the buyout is tough, right? For the next two, three years, I believe it, it's tough on the cap. But as the cap moves up and more flexibility, I think the Wild are going to be a very dangerous team because don't forget, they still have... One of the best goalie prospects in the league. They have a lot to be excited about in terms of uh, their younger forwards. And they've already got some locked up. So subscribe, like, comment. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.